you saved my life. All right. Now, Professor, get down on the ground and stay still. Get down. Now, the odds are just about right. Get down. Spread out and be careful. Good day, sir. Would you like to sign the register? Reception. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Vine. What can I do for you? Will you have my car sent round, please? Very good, sir. Any messages? No. Thank you. Nun, da. Attention, Gov. Jokiloshk. Jokiloshk. Oh, Jokiloshk. You. Da. I spy you. Good news, comrades. That was our agent Sheehy on the Black Line. He has a reliable information that Jacobson 
has nearly completed his work on the Riegerhaus. Good news, Tetchnikov. The professor's blueprint is about to be handed over to the British government, and you call that good news? You sometimes talk like a madman or a traitor. Oh, don't alarm yourselves, comrades. That was only half the good news. I have established contact with Jakobson. The British will not get the blueprint they expect. How could you contact Jakobson? I thought it was impossible to get near him. Uh, it was. But for two months now, I have been conducting delicate negotiations with a high-ranking official of the British Foreign Office. He has access to Jakobson. He has explained to him the game the British are playing, and he has hinted that the British are responsible for the murder of his brother. So, after that, the professor did not need much persuading to agree to give a fake blueprint to the British and sell his regraph secrets to us. Excellent, Comrade Tetchnikov. You see, I have not been wasting my time. Of course, the British official has cost me a lot of money. Perhaps you could persuade our home office to send me some expenses this week. We shall need permission, of course, before we make payment. But in view of the urgency of the situation, I don't foresee any difficulties. Well, Tetchnikov, all we have to do now is to extract the professor from the tender clutches of Mr. Vai. <laughs> It works, it works. There's complete correlation of my analysis. All my theories are indicated. If only August could be here to share this moment. My friends, this marks the end of man's days as an earthbound world. We are free to soar like larks into the sky. The Home Office has provided the money for regrav. Our arrangements are almost complete. Soon, comrades, regrav will be ours. Nothing can stop our four-year plan. And what if the professor should cheat us, as he cheated the British? Hardly, comrade. If he cheats, he will lose far more than that. Quite so. Well, it's in your hands, comrade Chechnikov. Good day. Good day, comrades. Good day. Comrade Tetchnikov, don't get any ideas about setting yourself up as a capitalist. from the corridors of power. Come in, gentlemen. Good afternoon, Brian. Good afternoon. Ah, my dear professor. The British government sends you its warmest congratulations. Now, the completion of your blueprint must have taken a great weight off your mind. Huh. Quite a lot of weight of yours, too, I imagine. <laughs> we never really had any doubts, Professor Jacobson. Now, if the blueprint and the other documents are ready. Oh, yes, 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 of course. Mr. Vine, please. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, thank you, Mr. Myers. Here. Everything is here. Excellent. And we have the settlement from the British government. Won't they? The money, it's in cash. American dollars. <laughs> See for yourself. Well, I shan't bother to count it. I take your word for it as an English gentleman. Now, uh, Mr. Vine tells us that you are leaving us tomorrow. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Under the circumstances, I think the sooner the safer. Don't you think so, Mr. Pickering? Well, before you go, uh, perhaps a little festivity might be in order to celebrate your success. Uh, you best ask Mr. Vine. He's my watchdog. Uh, Mopey and I were thinking of going down to my house in Surrey. 
I can give you my assurance that your personal safety and that of Miss Lindbergh will be taken carefully into consideration. Now, what can I say? Oh, that's an attractive idea. What do you say, Mr. Vaughan? It's an attractive idea, Professor. Good, then. You come. Shall we say 7 o'clock? Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. Another suitcase to carry. Look at it. Hard to believe. Two million pounds. That's five million six hundred thousand American dollars. You should have stuck to science, Mr. Vine. By the way, how do you intend getting us and our ill-gotten gains to safety tomorrow? We leave at 9.30 precisely for London Airport with a convoy of four cars containing armed guards. You mean you're going to make a formal procession of this, Mr. Vine? I mean, isn't that going to attract some undesirable attention? I hope so, Miss Lindbergh, I hope so. Now, just let me explain. Now, soon after we set out, we enter an underpass. Now, inside this underpass, our place in the convoy is going to be taken by an identical car containing three people dressed like us. What happens to us? Well, we change cars and wait in the underpass until the convoy has got underway. Then we turn round and make for London docks. With only you to protect us, Mr. Barney. Now, what exactly do you mean by only me? And no, Miss Lindbergh, as a matter of fact, we pick up a replacement armed escort near the underpass. And then we'll amble down to the docks and see you safely on board a small cargo ship, the SS Durham. Is the ship safe? Professor, it's been 20 years at sea. Never a leak. He means the crew, Mr. Vine. Oh, I see. Well, the captain is one of our most trusted men, and the crew won't even know who you are, so there's no need to worry. Oh, by the way, I wouldn't leave that lying around if I were you. It's a considerable temptation. Would you see that this letter gets to Mr. Vladimir Shinky? Certainly, madam. It's private. Very private. Thank you very much, madam. Excellent work, Shinky. Excellent work. I don't know how you got this information, but it could be invaluable if Plan Volgograd runs into any hitches. It gives us a chance to rescue Jakobson as Vine takes him to the docks. Any hero of the Order of Excellence could have done as much. You would expect an agent of my experience to find access to such things. Quite a thought, comrade. So the old underpass trick. The British Secret Service must be running out of ideas so they think they can frighten us with an armed convoy. The armed convoy certainly frightens me, comrade Ketchnikov. Too much like a battle if we attack. Too much like a war if our attack succeeds. Ow! Can't you see? The political repercussions could be highly dangerous. It need never come to that. My plan, Volgograd, will whisk Jakobson from under the British noses. There need be no international incident. Only one man will die, Charles Vine. We trust your plan works. Are arrangements for the execution complete? They are. My British contact has arranged the celebration at his house in Surrey tonight. Vine and Jacobson will be there. 